Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play of Deathmark. So in the last episode we came across some disgusting things, uh, notably a human honeycomb, uh, which was disgusting to say the least. And there's other bits of our dead friend from earlier in the chapter, he's also become a human honeycomb. And Christy says that she, if we come up against Shimio, she doesn't think she can help us. So that's a good hint for me that we've got to go and find someone else. So who shall we go? Should we go Mishita or Shell? I think out of both of them, I trust Mishita the most. So I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go Grumpy Man the most. So we'll go back to the forest. And we'll make our way through. Ugh. The time is ticking. Our mark is getting stronger. Okay, so... I need to go back to where we were. Sort of, I think. We did sort some stuff out with... Uh, some sort of... Bee's nest bees hive. I don't think that's what we're going to come up against in a moment. We went this way and we did a couple of the bees. Oh no, not this way. There's nothing we can do with these ones. Where was it then? Uh, this way? Yeah, okay, so it's this way. Bees, bees. Yeah, we got some more night night, which is good. I thought I'd wasted like a load, but it's this one. But we got a lot more, so oh, I don't want to touch it, <laughs> which is really good. Okay, night night. Take out the night night and put it in the sprayer. I take careful aim and spray the drug. Eventually, the hive falls completely silent. Used up a bowl of night night. There you go. We can pass through now. Just bugs. Okay, Rashida. So, we, I like Christy. Now we've just got Rashida's... <laughs> we've just got Rashida's Mish back talk. Oh, I hate strange noises. Is there anything in here? I, I think it's just a area to scare me. Ugh. Oh no, they're lady bodies. Okay. We have to deal with the lady bodies. I'm just going to look in here. Beehive for the bees. Bees fill the air. Okay. If I don't do something about the bees, we won't be able to get through here. Do I like silence bees? I want to look at the ladies. There's a tree of women, women's corpses that have been turned into hives. The buzz of bees fills the air. The drug should easy be able to reach it. Actually, wait, I'm too close. We shouldn't breathe in this stuff. Okay, well, but it was fine for you to do this one. Okay, so... Oh, my bad. I take out the night now and put it in the sprayer. I take careful name and spray the drug. The bees' movements get slower. Eventually the hive falls completely silent. Can we now open that? There's a bottle of drugs hidden inside the beehive. Oh, good morning! Ow. <gasps> the mark is dyed a deep crimson. A few minutes left until death closes in. The mark scorches me again. Looks like we're out of time. I brace myself and glance over at Mishita. 
Mishita, I'm counting on you. Sorry, this is gonna hurt. Can you just beat him up? I slapped Mishita's face. That did the trick. Nice hit. Oh, okay, so he, he's, he's going a bit crazy because of the mark. That clear your head a little? He's coming, we have to go. We'll do everything we can, but you have to do as I say. Right, you can count on me. I proceed to lead Mishita into the darkness. Drifting on the wind from somewhere is the melting sweet fragments of honey. New information was added to the spirit file facing Shimyo. But we didn't get to look at the, the lady bodies. Oh, that's the man bodies. Oh, horrible. There's chunkers. Ooh. Something flies at us at the dark. Oh god. A sharp pain pierces the arm I used to cover my face. I think I got stung by a bee. I'm missing something. Bees swarm around Shimio as he draws closer. Oh, it's why he's being attacked again. Uh, stinky liquid. Uh, tennis ball? Let's go. I pour stinky liquid over the tennis ball and throw it. Shimio incites the bees. The bee cloud rushes at the ball. They must be reacting to the smell of the liquid on it. The bees swarm the ball. They look like a dense black cloud. Oh, it's coming closer. Uh, I think that is another stinky liquid. Baseball? I pull stinky liquid over the baseball and throw it. Shimio incites the bees. The bees! The bees cloud rushes at the ball again. I guess the second ball was effective too. Oh my god, his face. That's only a face a mother could love. Uh, I don't know what this is. Good morning? Hold on. It's not like I'm checking this or anything. Uh, okay, good morning. Uh, handgun. Shoot him. I spray Shimmer with a drug and shoot him with the handgun. Shimmer is wounded. Oh, he's backing away. A cut opens up a giant body and a bittersweet smelling liquid pours out. Ew. Oh, I'm not a traitor. Shimmer bends over backwards, moaning, liquid spraying from the holes in his body. Traitor to the bees! Shimmer falters. Oh, he's back again. Oh, ugh. Uh, da -da -da -da. Good morning. Shoot him again. Good morning. I spray Shimmer with a drug and shoot him with a handgun. Shimmer is wounded. Ew, why is he so icky? Ooh. Oh, I don't even want to look at it. Shimu writhes in pain, his body jiggling. <laughs> no, I don't want to wake up. Shimu hollers in pain as the bullshit. The bullshit? <laughs> the bullets hit! But it doesn't seem to be enough to beat him. Oh no, he's weakened. We are hitting with the last shot. Shimir is clearly weak. Now that it's time to finish him off. Uh, um, honey, what's the dried root for? I don't know what any of this is for. Uh, sweet dreams. Oh, I'm gonna do this wrong. Night night to like blow him up. Large sweet dreams and large bottle of night night. 
I don't think this is a good combination. I try pouring the two drugs over Shimio. I pour the two medicines over, over him. As they mix together, they begin to bubble, reacting violently with each other. Shimio looks up amid the poison fuse, as if trying to gasp for breath. But he's unable to escape the gas, and the forest shakes as he wails his cry death cry. Oh, was that a good idea? Is he gone? Because I know I missed picking something up. <laughs> At last, his huge body crumbles to the ground and his movements cease. His honey-covered drill rattles as it rolls across the ground. Is that good? Yeah? He's gone? I don't sense Shimia anymore. Hmm. Took long enough. Mishiru is back to normal. His mark appears to have vanished. Okay, so we've done it. Mine is... Still here. Still branded red on my arm. Then Shimio wasn't the one who gave it to me. But I kind of figured that'd be the case. From what I can tell, when the mark bearers confront the spirits that curse them, they suffer extreme memory loss. That's why Mishita was acting strangely. I myself didn't have any problem with so Shimio wasn't the right spirit. Oh, okay. Something is lying on the path. It's a small notebook. The cover's wet, the light of the flashlight making it glitter. It could be honey. Did this belong to Shimio? Where did he hide this? Okay, now I really don't feel like touching it. <laughs> mm. Yoshiki, something's on the ground. It seems Mishida has absolutely no intention of picking it up. I, ga I give in and bend down and grab it. Flipping through the pages, it appears to be a diary. Save it for when we get back. We need to get out of here. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so we did it. Hmm. I wonder what that other stuff that we were supposed to get was. We carefully retrace our steps back to the entrance so we don't get lost. Is it just going to do this? Something gonna come up? Because I'm not doing this. Oh, without warning, the light dies. Hey, what are you doing? This isn't the time for jokes. It's not me. Oh no. What's going on? It won't respond. An icy cold shiver runs down my spine. I'm suddenly overwhelmed. Over I'm suddenly overwhelmingly afraid, like the dark forest is trying to absorb my body. If I could just get the light back on. If we just had it back, I'd feel so much better. I hit the switch repeatedly, suddenly praying. Um, the light isn't coming back on. Oh, pain. My mark is throbbing. Am I dying? Did I do wrong? Damn, that noise. Hey, Yoshiki, get the damn light back on already. The mark is fearing pain, but I struggled to hit the flashlight switch. Hello? Oh no. What happened? Did I faint? My head's foggy. Oh, back on. The light suddenly comes back on. What? Where's Mishida? Hey, Mishida? <gasps> Have I got Mishida killed? I hear ragged breathing like that of a beast from a bush close by. I try to head towards it, but my legs won't cooperate. I'm frozen in place. Oh, 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 the sound of a human being destroyed. <gasps> oh no! A manacle laughter bringing with joy. A man's death cry. Move legs, I force them into motion. Have I just got Mashita killed? That's kind of upsetting. And head into the direction of the voice. There I find. Nothing? No one. 
but between the broken branches beneath the trees and the disturbed dirt, someone has definitely been here. <gasps> oh no! And after that, I search the forest until the sky begins to brighten, but I don't find Mishita. Exhausted, I drag my body to the car and collapse from helplessness. Oh gosh! The whole ride back to Kuju Mansion. My ears ring the horrible buzzing of bees. Oh no! <gasps> Yo, you're back! Haha, <laughs> you did it! My mark's totally gone, but my mark is still there. What does this mean? Christy is hysterical, clutching her head. What the... By the way, what happened to the Jack Nishita? Mm. The hell? He got killed? <gasps> Xiao stares at me, dumbfounded. All I can do is nod. For real? No, you can't mean... I was sure he, we'd killed Chimio, but when the flashlight went out, I know the voice I heard was his. Maybe Mary knows something about it. Mary, what do you know? Welcome back, Lonely Shiki. It appears that you've overcome your fear and destroyed the spirit, but there was a victim. Yeah, we beat Shimio, but what happened to Mishida? Unfortunately, the spirit festering grudge was not cleared away. The grudge then stole the life of one who killed it, Mishida. So the spirit got revenge? Normally grudges kill people. Normally grudges kill killing people would be impossible, but then why was only Mishita killed? With that kind of logic, I should have been. I can offer a logical reason. The vanquished spirit could only affect those it gave the mark to. If that's true, then it's pretty ironic. That'd mean I, I was saved because it was Shimio who'd given me the mark. It wasn't Shimio who had given me the mark. This is likely I'm setting for you. <laughs> Clearly! But take comfort in the fact Lord Charles' mark has vanished. A question. I get why my mark didn't go, but why hasn't Christie's? I thought she'd got it from Shimio. The hypothesis is then incorrect. What I mean to say is, another spirit must have given her her mark. I don't want to believe it, but it's true, Christie hadn't been in her right mind when we met. It's definitely possible that she hadn't realised she had it already. Lady Christie received her mark fairly recently. Her memory is currently unaffected, but if she were to come into contact with the spirit that cursed her, her amnesia may accelerate, so please exercise care. Her amnesia would get worse? That would explain Mashita's strange behaviour before we fought Shimio. <gasps> oh. Hey old man, it's been bugging the hell out of me, but man, your hands are gross. Of course they are. I spent a whole day by walking all over a mountain, what do you expect? Okay, yeah, but you really reek to. Do you, did you touch something gross? I glance down and suddenly understand. Xiao was probably talking about the honey on my hands. I never did read the honey-covered notebook, did I? I take it out of my bag and open up the sticky pages. Inside it talks about honeybee family, what they did and their ideologies. I can't tell if Shimio wrote this or someone else did, but the incoherent writing spells out their fanatical thinking and hatred for society. It's fascinating as abnormal psychology, but doesn't bear relevance to our current problem. The author seems extremely curious. Curious? Multiple pages. What? Multiple pages wax on about H Shrine. They seriously believe we'd face divine wrath if the shrine fell to ruin. All of the suicides in the forest, the numerous horrific incidents, according to the author, they're all basically of divine wrath of H Shrine. Ooh, creepy. H Shrine, divine wrath. Strange. That part sticks out to me. After I finish skimming through, I tell the other bear mark. Mark is what it says. Mark Bear is what it says. Ugh, enough of that crap. Divine Wrath? Curse? It's too much. Divine Wrath? If that's true, then... 
It is almost dawn. We must end today's investigation. Please rest. I am sure all of you are tired from walking on the mountain. <gasps> I haven't been this wiped out since the last time I was at baseball club. Sorry, but I gotta go crash. Don't let what's happening to Mishita get to you. It's not your fault. That damn monster is the one to blame. But I kind of feel guilty because I did stuff in the wrong order and that's oh, it's so annoying. Later. I feel guilty. I feel like going back on a save just to go get the better ending. Too much has happened today. I need to a break from it all. I'll think about the future more once I've gotten some rest. Well, good night. Now, Lord Yoshiki, please inform me once you are ready to rest. Good night. <laughs> New information was added to the spirit file. The truth behind Shimyo. Other. Oh. Okay. Save. Let's read our Shimyo stuff. Facing Shimio, someone stares from the darkness and I feel them drawing near. Going by the state of my partner's mind, the spirit will attack soon. I doubt we'll be able to escape Shimio by fleeing the forest, so we'll just have to use the info we've uncovered so far and face him down. To do that, the key may be the whisper of control those that are different and exercise. It probably means to combine those things Shimio has the bees helping him, so I should prioritise them. Days the swarm. Could I draw their attention somehow? Maybe my back or something to affect the bees from a distance. He's basically a zombie, so how do I weaken him? A normal attack with a bat or a gun would be useless. What I wouldn't give for some kind of occult gear that could can raise the dead. How to annihilate the spirit? Burn it with fire? Maybe something more cowardly like poison. Regardless, I need to consider everything carefully in order to survive. The truth behind Shimio. The spirit vanishes and a honey covered notebook lies on the ground. A certificate is pasted onto the first page. Registration of the non profit Honeybee family with an address within H City. It was signed eight years ago. Their goal is environmental protection of honeybees and their habitat. The leader name is Shinzo Maruro. So that's Shimio's true name. The pages are after that are full of incoherent ramblings. Most is about members of a honeybee family and the torment they endure from society. It's as if the family's pent up presentment spews out with every word. The, future, the further I read, the more I notice there's a weird shift in writing. The deeper into the pages I go, the more childish and nonsensical it turns. XX found another suicide victim. The divine wrath is accelerating. Spoke with the voice at the shrine again. Divine wrath comes. Must love bees more. <laughs> Must love the bees. Or no promised land. That's no good. A traitor among the family. Disinherited. Sacrificed. Shrine. And me happy. Hate the police. Almost ready to discard body. Soon. Soon. Last day everyone went to promised land. So why, 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 why? Am I the only, 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 only body not enough holes need more? For whatever reason, Shimio didn't die during the family mass suicide. I wonder why. Does that mean the voice from the shrine wasn't a hallucination? And some kind of divine wrath turned him into a monster? And the traitor policeman from the journal it must be somehow related to Mashita. No time to check now. Ooh, spooky, spooky. Hello everyone, I'm back again because I wanted to get the other ending as well just to show you that. So we're back with Christine and I was a bit too quick to, to stop, take, to, to take Christine back basically. So we need a uh, one more thing to get a good ending. We already got the jar of honey and we're now looking for a grass root. This might be the area past the meeting place mentioned in the note. We push through the undergrowth. 
and finally a beast trail leading to the east. A hidden trail? Where would something like this be? We better be careful. Yeah, I know. Then, <gasps> scary face. The ghost of a man stands blocking our way, silently staring. The, figure, the figure's glaring hastily at me, but only me. So, ask your partner, because Christy's the only one with enough spirit power to, to calm the spirits. Me? I can't do that. But when she faces the figure and offers up a prayer, he's gone. The figure vanishes. Oh, thank goodness. I guess the ghost was glad to see a woman. Looks like my prayers got through to them. Prayers come in handy sometimes, huh? Let's keep going. Uh, it's a withered plant. Uh, can we... We use the broken crowbar. I take out the broken pro crowbar and thrust it into the dirt by the plant's base. The dirt is softer than I expected. The pointed end easily breaks it up. Finally I get to the root. It looks like a small carrot. Got plant root. And this is that's what we need for the good ending. Huh? What are you going to do with that? Indeed, what am I going to do with that? It's a beehive. I carefully open it up. Inside is a folded scrap of paper and something that looks like incense. Got suicide note, mosquito repellent incense. Oh great. Can we read the suicide note? A suicide note found inside an unusual beehive. Like the teachings. Apply honey. Manage to swallow. Wait for me, everyone. I'll soon be there. So I wonder if the uh the cult poisoned themselves with like pesticides? And in honey, like dripped it in honey or something? Hmm, I don't know. Well, I'm going to go back and get Mishita and then we're gonna go face off with Shimio again. So Let's go to the jump cut. So we're back at the creepy bodies. So we can have another look at them. Let's see, too close. We shouldn't breathe in this stuff. Uh, feel a night night. Put it in the sprayer, spray the bodies. So this is what I wanted to do before and I couldn't. So thank God for multiple saves. The bee's movement gets slower, eventually the hive falls completely silent. Used up a bottle of night night. But we can now have a feel. Nothing else really stands out. Oh, it's just another bottle for the um stinky stinky liquid. I don't think we've got any more empty bottles. So okay, it didn't really matter if I had a look at them. So we're going to do the same for this box. Be a night night going on. I take careful aim and spray the drug. The bee's movement gets slower. Eventually the hive falls completely silent. Then we use up our last bottle of night night. We can now have a look in here, like we did before. Get a bottle of drugs. Good morning too. And then ouch ouchies. The mark is dyed it in crimson. We, we've read all of this now. So we just get on to the, the shimio fight. Something flies at us in the dark. It's Shimio. <coughs> Let's do this again, shall we? So we go 
Binky liquid. And the tennis ball. Let's hit with a tennis Stinky liquid and tennis ball. I pour the stinky liquid and the tennis ball. Sights the bees. The bees cloud rushes at the ball. They must be reacting to the smell of the liquid on it. And then we go baseball. Oh no, hold on. Can we go back? Yeah. Ugh. Stinky liquid baseball. Although I don't know if it matters what order you do it. The bees are incited. Second ball is effective too. So now we are going. Is it the good morning? Good morning, sir. And shoot him in the face. Now that bees are gone. He is wounded. He is wounded. Ew. Disgusting. And then we do the same again. We go. Good morning. And shoot him in the face. His body's jiggling. He's weakened, so the final blow and the good blow that hopefully Nishita won't be killed is a bottle of honey and plant root. I pour honey on the plant root and throw it at Shimio's mouth. Nom, 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 nom. He initially tries to expel it, but it seems to realise something and gulps it down quickly. He's ha he happily stuffs his cheeks with the honey-coated root. Now I can finally see my family. I wonder if like the root is like nightshade or like a... Like I said, the cult sounds like they poisoned themselves, but to uh, like take away the bitter taste, they used honey, maybe? He collapses flat on the ground. The deadly poison have invaded his whole body. His face is frozen into a peaceful smile, like a kid who's just eating a delicious meal. Oh, so he seems better now. He wasn't in pain like when we threw mixing chemicals. Never mix your, your cleaning chemicals, people. The bees continue to hover around the still shimio. Oh. I don't sense shimio anymore. We didn't before, and then he came and killed Nishita, so, you know. Hmm, <laughs> took long enough. Nishita is back to normal. His mouth appears to have vanished. Mine is... We know yours is still there. We know this information already. But I kind of figured that would be the case. Yeah, okay, we know you get dizzy when you go around your people. This thing is lying on the path. It's a small notebook. Okay, we know this as well. Save it from when we're back. And then we carefully retrace our steps back to the entrance so we don't get lost. Okay. It's like before. Mm. And Oh no. Without warning the light dies. Hey, what are you doing? This isn't the time for jokes. It's not me. <gasps> is he still going to die or is he going to survive this time? What's going on? It won't respond. An icicle chill runs down my spine. I'm suddenly overwhelmingly afraid like the dark forest is trying to absorb my body. If I could just get the light back on. If we could just had it back I'd feel so much better. I hit the switch repeatedly, silently praying. Is it going to turn on this time? Okay, so it turned on this time. Just a malfunction. <gasps> Once we get back to the mansion, we better replace the batteries. Let's move on. We'll be in trouble if it goes out again. <gasps> oh, and there we go. He is alive. We get him out the forest. 
I was so guilty. I felt so guilty. We hurry all the way and get to the car. Yeah, I felt far too guilty to not go back and try and get him. But although it is good you get to see the how what happens as well. Yo, you're back. Ha, huh, you did it. My mark's totally gone, but my mark is still there. What does this mean? Christie's hysterical, clutching her head. What the? We're in water over our heads when it comes to spirits. Let's check in with Mary. Welcome back, Lord Yoshiki. It appears that you overcame your fear and cleared away the grudge. It's, it's unfortunate that Shimio was not the one who bestowed your mark. Good news is that at least Lord Shao and Lord Mushita's marks vanished. A question? I get why my mark didn't go away, but why hasn't Christie's? I thought she'd gotten it from Shimio. The hypothesis is then incorrect. What I mean to say is, another spirit must have given her her mark. I don't want to believe it. But it's true, Christy hadn't been in her right mind when we met. It's definitely possible she hadn't realised she'd had it. Lady Christy received her mark fairly recently. Her memory is currently unaffected. But if she were to come into contact with the spirit that cursed her, her amnesia may accelerate. So please exercise care. Her amnesia would get worse. That would explain Mashita's strange behaviour before he fought Shimio. Hey old man. It's been bugging the hell out of me, but man, your hands are gross. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. You got honey on them. Oh, I missed what he said beforehand. Uh, I think he's talking about the honey on your hands. From picking up the notebook. Oh, so he tells you about it instead of you thinking it yourself. I never did really that honey covered notebook, did I? I take it out of my bag and open up the sticky pages. Inside it talks about the honey bee farm, what they did, and their ideologies. I think we'd already read this. So just skip this bit. After I finish skimming through, I tell the other mark bearers what it says. Ugh, enough of that crap. Divine wrath, curses, it's too much. Guess I can't write it off then. It's no more ridiculous than the idea that spirits really exist. We're dealing with the supernatural, so just about anything's fair game. Divine Wrath? If that's true, then... It's almost dawn. We must end today's investigations. Please rest, I am sure you are tired from walking on the mountain. I haven't been this wiped out since last time. Okay, he's going to bed. What's my to say? Too much up today, I need a break from it all. Bless her. Good night. And then Mashita? Hey Yashiki. I've decided to leave tomorrow too. Change your mind, you're abandoning me. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Cut the sap, it's gross. <laughs> anyway, I am satisfied. That big string of missing persons cases, the force couldn't solve. I figured out that, that what was behind it and I've basically closed the honeybee family case I've chased for years. The truth you're seeking can be found here, huh? Mary's something else, isn't she? I can finally visit someone's grave. His expression's still the same, but it feels like he's more at peace. He accomplished what he set out to do. Hey, Yoshiki, the whole thing is too dangerous. I'm reckless, but that doesn't mean I don't care if I live or die. Sticking my neck out for you past this point is just too risky. Sorry. A tremor runs through his clenched fist. If you manage to escape your death, I'll buy you a drink sometime. See you. Oh. Bye. Now, Lord, now, Lord Yoshiki, please inform me once you're ready to rest. Good night. <gasps> Success. And then we'd already read those, so success. So that is the other ending. So I'm very happy to say we have completed chapter two and we'll, we'll start chapter three next time. So check you then. Bye.